Hey Deckers, Overwatch 2 is now officially on Steam and it has made a huge improvement over the Blizzard launcher. However, it's come across with one of the original issues, which is very bizarre that this wasn't fixed at launch, but is a very easy tweak to make. That is, your controller will stop working during matches. Now, it seems to happen after one or two respawns. It's incredibly annoying and you have to keep changing controller mappings on the Steam Deck to fix it. We'll give you a much better fix for that in just a second. Best settings for this one we found actually running on the medium preset was just fine. However, there is an issue with the dynamic render scale that keeps getting set to on, as well as the aspect ratio is 16 by 9 by default, so you have to switch that to 16 by 10. That does seem to save though, but dynamic resolution does not, so you'll need to turn that off each time if you want stable resolution. But to get this working really well, you will need GE Proton 811. Now, I'm sure other GE Proton versions work perfectly fine, but forcing the Proton 811 gave us an incredibly smooth 60 frames per second across pretty much all of the maps, with a few minor dips here and there on a couple of the night style maps. But in both the arcade mode and the original unranked was really performing well. Unfortunately, we had some major issues with the default Proton version, not only with it just losing the controller mapping outright, but we also saw some really weird performance dips that even in the training area without Proton 811, it was dipping down into the 30s and 40s on medium and in some of the games it went as low as 20 frames per second but with Proton 811 no matter what map we were in it seemed to be performing perfectly fine. Even with all hell breaking loose in the new arcade flashpoint style maps it really was performing exceptionally well. As you can see here a flat rate 60 frames per second absolutely solid with those medium graphics so it is absolutely superb performs so much better with no cache and shader issues that we saw on the battle.net launcher version and it really is a joy to play now there is no controller aim and you only get matched with other pc players so you are potentially going to be at a disadvantage with some mouse and keyboard players but it's still fun to play nonetheless and the new pve modes are also well worth it let us know if you're going to be diving into this one on deck and if you've been seeing the same issues that we have we are running the Steam OS 3.5 beta, hence the nice looking overlay up at the top. And battery wise, you are only going to be getting around an hour and a half to two hours gameplay. As when all hours break and loose, it is up around the 28 watts. But for the most part, it does stick around the low 20s. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.